Well, hello everybody, it's wonderful to have you with us. I pray wherever you are, that you know that God is with you exactly in the place where you are. Well, we're in this series called Praying Deeply. And uh, as I shared yesterday, I find that when I begin to really concentrate in a particular area, you can't help, can you, but hear and sense God's convicting voice in our heart. You know, uh, I wish that God would speak audibly and he'd just say, do this, this and this. But, over, but that's not the way God speaks. God speaks within the conviction of who we are, in that place of faith who, within us. Now, in the book of Timothy, where I've been reading recently, here we have Paul, and Paul is writing to Timothy. Who's Paul? Paul's this veteran Christian man. He's, he's, he's getting on in years now, um, and, and he's towards the end of his life. And, and he writes to Timothy, and he says to Timothy, he, he says to Timothy, this is the way you're meant to live. And he encourages Timothy, uh, and, and he cares for him deeply. And, and, and often in our life, to be mentored is really important. And what's a mentor? A mentor is someone who calls us on to be who we can be. Occasionally, people come to me and say to me, would you te- teach me to give talks? Would you teach me to speak? And whilst I don't do much of that because I'm so busy <laughs> doing that, occasionally I, I, I help people. And, and, and the goal is not to make them do what I do, but to make them good at what they do, right? And, and, and But what you do that, you do it from the basis of your own experience, of the things that you've learned from having done it over and over and over and over and over again. Uh, you do it based on the mistakes that you've made. And my goodness, haven't I made lots of mistakes? And, and, and the combination of experience, the combination of doing it, uh, of what you learn along the way, the combination of the mistakes, all go to create this thing called wisdom. Wisdom. Wisdom is the knowledge that comes from, from insight and experience. And so here's Paul, and he's saying some things to young Timothy. And he wants Timothy to, to fight the good fight. Now, they would have understood in those days, Roman soldiers and every, like that, roaming around this whole idea of fighting for, fighting for um, uh, what was right. And uh, they lived in a war world. And I just want to look at, I just want to look at one verse, one verse. And, and, and I find this a verse that you can just pray about. Keep in mind, what's the point of daily devotionals? So that we would pray. So that we'd pray. Let's have a look at 1, Peter, 1 Timothy chapter 6, verse 11. But as for you, man of God, shun all this. Pursue righteousness, godliness, faith, love, endurance, gentleness. Now, above this, uh, Timothy has been talking about uh, avoiding false teaching. He's been talking about understanding what true richness is, what, what it is to be truly rich, to be truly rich. To be truly rich is to have relationship with God. It isn't the things we have, the money in the bank, the relationships we have. They're not, that's not what the spiritual richness he's talking about. And, and he says to him, but as for you, man of God, it's almost like he's encouraging him. He's saying to him, now see yourself differently. You're not just Timothy anymore. You're a man of God. I have a friend of mine who, who for years when he met me, he would say to me, hello, man of God. And he just didn't say that to me. He would say that to any younger men that he met. He'd go, hello, you man of God. And uh, uh, he, he said, and in some ways it would almost make you go, oh, and, and it was a bit of a shock to the system. Imagine if someone walked up to you today and said, hello, man of God, hello, woman of God. And what, what, what he really was saying is, are you being who God has called you to be? So look at this again. But as for you, man of God, as for you, Timothy, shun all of this. And then these are the things that you're to do. Pursue righteousness, godliness, faith, love, endurance, gentleness. He says to them, these are the things that you should pursue. To pursue means to go after. Now, I've had five children. And some years ago, I was the director of youth and young adult ministry for a Catholic archdiocese. And there were thousands of kids that I, I and our team were responsible for. That's going back a long way. 
And if you know anything about teenagers and, and people in the early 20s, have you noticed it's difficult to tell them what to do? Do you notice that they look at you and sometimes go, yeah, well, you're just old now. And I remember, I remember that being the case. Uh, and, and my children saying it to me. Matter of fact, when I look back, I remember actually thinking that about my dad and mum. Oh, you're old. I remember thinking that about adults. I mean, you, what do you know? And, and the reality is, gee whiz, I, I think back now to all of the adults that I've had in my life, <laughs> my parents and even teachers. I wish I had listened more because now I am them. Saying to younger people the same things, only to find young people turning around going, oh, but dad, come on, you're old, you're out of touch. We're living in the world of TikTok and the internet and you know, these things, and you know, they weren't around when you were around dad. You know? Paul is coming to him and he's saying, hey, Timothy, as, as a man who has walked the journey, as a mature Christian who's walked the journey, don't, put, don't get hung up on false teaching. Concentrate on the main things. And he says, shun all this. He said, pursue righteousness. What's righteousness? Being right before God. To be able to stand and say, I'm in a good place right now with God. Pursue godliness. I'm acting in a way that would be acceptable in the kingdom of God. Uh, uh, you know, pursue faith. Increase my faith, Lord. Pursue love. Uh, show me how to love. It, pursue endurance. Pursue gentleness. He gives him instruction. In your prayer today, as you read these few words from an older person who's walked the journey for a long time, I've come to see that true wealth is found in the righteous, the, those who are godly, those who have faith, those who love, those who endure, those who are gentle. Take that to prayer and ask the Lord, am I these? And if I'm not, what do you need to do to pursue these more deeply? Loving Father, we give you thanks and we give you praise because you're good. In our prayer today, take us deeper into the mystery of who you are. And Father, we make this prayer in Jesus' name through the power of your Holy Spirit. Amen. I, one, of, one of my kids said to me when they were younger, Hey Dad, what was it like when you lived in a world without phones? How did you get anything done? I look back now and I've got to say, I wonder. But we all did pretty good, didn't we? Didn't we? For those of us who didn't have them, I know we, we all do, but now. But when we didn't, the world still went around. Hey, we older people, you know, we older people, we've got something to offer the world. Hey, God bless you. Talk to you tomorrow. And don't forget, wherever you are, God's never, ever far from you.